Hi, this is Sarah Lacey of TechCrunch, backstage at Disrupt, and I'm joined by John Marbach of Ingenic. And if he looks a little young to be an entrepreneur, that's because he is one of the Peter Thiel finalists for the 20 Under 20 program. Results just announced today. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Sarah. I'm really excited for the opportunity. So you are you just turned 18. That's right. You're yeah. graduating from high school on Friday. That's right. So you're not even stopping out of college because you haven't even gotten to the college point yet. Right. Um, it, the way the foundation is working it is that you, uh, any fellow can start the fellowship at any point in uh, 2011. So I'll actually be going to the first semester of college mm -hmm. and, and then um, taking a leave of absence um, because I feel it's important that my project is in education mm -hmm. and I need to understand the different levels of uh, education before I go attack the whole, the whole paradigm. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So tell us what Ingenic is, as uh, much as you can. Yeah, for sure. Ingenic is a uh, platform for teachers to create their lessons online and then students to manage their learning online. Uh -huh. uh, and, and as a recent product of the high school education system, I've noticed that there's a very repetitive aspect um, in a teacher's uh, work as a, uh, as a teacher. Mm -hmm. um, they, they come into class each day and they lecture for approximately half the class. And that's simply delivering the content material. Mm -hmm. Now, this, this, this aspect of teaching can be automated uh, online. Mm -hmm. um, and thus, you create a much more enriching class, classroom experience because the teacher no longer has the burden of delivering that course material in class. Right. Um, right. And, and as, a, as a digital learner um, myself, I, I, I notice all these you know, new technologies, such as TechCrunch, um, all these companies that are presenting these things that are, are integrating technology into our lives. But in education, it's been it's been lacking. And, yeah. Um, my the goal of Ingenic is to really create an effective solution that um, leverages the powers of technology to to make the classroom a more human experience. Mm -hmm. So where are you going to college for your semester? I'll be uh, attending Wake Forest University for the fall semester. And you intend on going back afterwards, or um, you'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The goal is to you know make this profitable by at the end of two years. Um, uh, and really push this out into as many schools as possible. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we'll see. And so, so how did you hear about Peter's program? Um, I, w I follow a number of tech communities online, and mm -hmm. Brandon Patton, my co-founder, actually tweeted uh, a link uh, saying, hey, I applied for the 20 under 20. Um, and, and so I, I, I saw that link on Twitter, and I was like, oh, my gosh, this is, this is I feel like they're speaking to me. Uh huh. It was uh, like exactly the kind of thing you'd yeah, been looking for. Yeah, because at that point in my senior in my senior year, I was applying to colleges, and I was saying, "Oh man, I have this passion for technology. You know, how what can I do with this idea and really implement it?" Um, with that first 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 step being supported by Mr. Teal, mm -hmm. and and so it's been a really awesome experience sort of thinking about the idea over the past few months and then now I have the opportunity to go out and execute on it. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the experience of going out to San Francisco and being with all the other right. finalists and I mean there were some of the biggest name people in Silicon Valley that you guys were presenting to. You must oh, yeah. have been nervous. I can say with confidence that the, the two minute pitch um, in San Francisco was one of the most nervous experiences in my <laughs> life. It's all like, it's all, not all downhill from here and that nothing will happen but like in terms of nerves you will probably never Oh, be that nervous oh my again. gosh! I mean, you you sit there, you stand there in the in the hallway, um, wait, with all the, you know forty other finalists waiting in line for your your uh, pitch. It's just rapid fire, so everyone's going in and out in two minutes. Uh huh. And it's a dark room with bright lights in your face. Oh my gosh! And it's just like I have this idea. I want to change the world. Let me tell you about it in two minutes. And and you know, this is this is we we can do it now. You know. Because wow. it's like, for I mean, for comparison's sake, we give people five minutes here, and these right. are like seasoned entrepreneurs who've pitched over oh, yeah. and over again. So you guys doing that? What was it that you said in those two minutes that you think put you over the top? Um, well, I, I, I think um, I watched this one TED video uh, by Simon Sinek, and he explained how um, you have to tell your audience why why you're doing things and, and get them to believe what you're doing. Um, and so we structured the speech uh, in, in a way that we explained um, what the problem was and how we're going to do it, but most importantly, why we are doing it and mm -hmm. why we are the best people to do it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so that, uh, that was sort of the experience in order to condense all that material into two minutes. Mm -hmm. So if you hadn't gotten the fellowship, what would your plan have been? Um, the plan would have been to start the company anyway and manage it on the side in college and um, uh, acquire seed funding to, to take that the leave of absence anyway. Mm -hmm. 
And, you know, as I'm sure you're aware, there's been just tons of debate about this. And I'm frankly a little surprised it's been such a polarizing issue. Both my parents are academics. Oh, yeah. Two of my brothers dropped out of school. My parents, who were teachers, didn't freak out and always felt like everyone has their own path. What's the big deal? But, but there are people who see this as a threat to American society. I mean, they're talking about you. Do right. You, that must be a little surreal. Uh, it's really, it really is surreal to think about, you know, how a lot of people are really concerned for the, the lives. <laughs> for you. you know, for me. <laughs> but, but then you also have, you know, the flip side of people that are, you know, like saying, you really have to do this. Like, yeah. it's once in a lifetime opportunity. It's two years and it can actually have, you know, a profound change on the industry we're attacking. So, right. um, I really believe that uh, the credential really isn't necessary, as Jim O'Neill, the foundation president, he was saying, the, the credential from college is not necessary. It's really, you know, the enthusiasm and the creativity that you go about uh, 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 using to to make this project a success. Right. Did you ha were you torn at all? And was there part of you that wanted to go to college and have that stereotypical John Hughes <laughs> college experience? I, I, I definitely, I, I, that's a good prediction because I as a, a high school senior you know you go through high school in preparation for college for four years you're yeah. saying you know um, I've been preparing for college for four years, four years now I, I have this opportunity um, to drop out of school it's really choosing between two good things you know mm -hmm. um, and so w with the foundation being very sensible um, in, in that I am one of the few fellows coming out of high school mm -hmm. um, they allowed me to take the fall semester uh, and, and sort of gain that experience and then start the fellowship officially in, right. in December. And what did your friends, family think about it? Great, great question. Uh, in school, it's like, uh, it's a big reaction like, what are you doing? You're not going to college? <laughs> uh, uh, you're not going to school? <laughs> so what is this internet thing you're doing? Is this like uh, some Mark Zuckerberg, you know, yeah. you know fiasco? Because uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's been popularized in, in culture um, around, you know, with the whole Facebook thing. So right. th that's what they sort of relate to. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and, your, and your parents? My parents, um, well, I told, I told them back in January, oh, hey, I applied to this fellowship. Uh, it, I made it through the first round, you know, we'll see how it goes. And then I got a phone interview, like, oh, what is this thing? Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and, and then um, as I finally, uh, I was selected for it, they, they're very supportive of it, and they, they recognize that this is something that I, I truly believe in, and and the discipline and focus uh, will require two years um, uh, leave of absence right. out of school to, right. to, to execute. Yeah. So, so once again, just to wrap up to the naysayers, you don't feel like Peter Thiel is exploiting you? <laughs> no, um, I feel like he's supporting me. They, they, they say the toughest step is the first step, and he's giving you that. He's giving me that platform to say, hey, I, I really want to change the world in, in you know, education and. I have that building block, that first step, and it's okay that I can take two years to do that. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, John, thank you so much. Please check back in with us like over the process of, of building the company. We would love to track you and see how you do. Thank you very much, Sarah.